this special NBC News report is brought to you by the Gulf Oil Corporation, producers of more and better energy from oil. Here again is Frank McGee. Jack King with an announcement at Cape Kennedy. We'll be clear. Stand by. Proceeding at this time. Just a matter of a minute or so ago, we armed the pyrotechnic and logic buses aboard the Apollo spacecraft. This permits the electrical system uh, to feed to the various uh, pyrotechnics uh, to fire them when required in flight. In other words, by uh, arming them, they now can accept the signal to detonate them when they should be properly used during the mission. Our countdown still proceeding very well. Here in the Launch Control Center, some 450-man crew monitoring the status of the various propellants on board the vehicle and reading out on hundreds of other readouts concerned uh, with the vehicle measurements and temperatures and pressures as the countdown uh, continues. We've had an excellent countdown thus far, and there are no problems at the present time. To repeat, we are still go for weather, both here in the launch area and in the recovery area, where if all goes well, the Apollo spacecraft will splash down in the Pacific some eight hours and 41 minutes following liftoff. This is launch control. Well, as you heard Jack King say, everything is proceeding very smoothly. When that first stage fires, there will be a seven and a half million pounds of thrust of the energy released, more than we've ever had before, and the noise should be greater than anything we've ever heard before. And as David Brinkley once said, the question will be whether the rocket goes up or Florida goes down. We'll be back in just a moment. Now here is a word from Gulf. Less than uh, six minutes now to the scheduled liftoff, and uh, at Cape Kennedy, here is NBC's Roy Neal. All the launch support operations well at this time at 90 seconds and counting. Houston flight now confirms that they are that they are go for the flight as are all other aspects of the mission. T minus one minute, 16 seconds and counting. The pressurization continuing within the vehicle at this time. We also have a hydraulic commit that will permit the hydraulics to drive the engines in the first stage. Liquid hydrogen tank in the second stage now pressurizing. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. Our status board still shows we're go at this time. T minus 50 seconds and counting. We have transferred to in power, internal power. The transfer is satisfactory. The 6.2 million pound Saturn V launch vehicle now on its own power at 38 seconds and counting. To repeat, the ignition sequence will start at 8.9 seconds. We'll be looking to lift off at zero. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. We'll count down from starting at T-minus 20. T-minus 25. Stage is reporting ready for launch. T-minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Ignition sequence starts. Five, four, we have ignition. All engines are running. We have liftoff. We have liftoff at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The tower is... <laughs> Big stage burns for two and a half minutes. One minute, one minute, and looking good. The 
biggest thing ever lifted off Earth. Vehicles climbing very nicely. Our velocity is now 2,000, about 2,500 feet per second. We are two, three miles downrange. Three miles downrange. The flight controllers are reporting enthusiastically that all parameters look good. The flight director says go all the way. One minute, 50 seconds. Fifteen miles downrange, two minutes, coming up on uh, staging. Damage. Booster says he's going all sources. Okay. All right, Kyle. You guys going to launch it? Here we go, Kyle. Look at the camera and say, here we go. We're going to launch. C-6-5. The rocket is over. The inboard engines have cut off. The inboard engines okay, have now. shut down at approximately down. two minutes, 18 seconds. Uh-oh. It should drift back. No reports yet on the outboard Three, engines. Two, one. Yeah, the outboard engines, we can see it visually. Outboard cutoff was called at 2 minutes, 34 seconds. Three, We're 50 two, miles downrange. The S2 has ignited. Perfect. Great. Thrust is okay on the S2. The booster says we've got a good second stage. Good. We are 64 miles downrange. Our velocity approximately 10,000 feet per second. Second plane has separated the inner stage surrounding the second stage engines. And the tower has jettisoned. Okay. 